Hey guys, Davey here. I've got another tutorial for you now. It's a little bit of an odd one, so bear with me. Um, it's about aesthetic choices, and what I mean by that is, rather than this rather dull looking shack in front of me where I've just basically just made the most simplest shack I can put together, it's about actually adding character to possibly dull structures and maybe choosing the correct um, walls and flooring and stairs or anything really to actually give your structures a bit more believability. Because the thing about this, it is functional, but I've seen a lot of these in other people's um, videos or um, loads of screenshots before, but it, it's, it's not really believable. You wouldn't see Bethesda making something like this. Um, as you can see, it's just used the basic basic shack wall, basic shack ceiling, so it's pretty, pretty dull. Now what I want to do is show you how to kind of add a bit more character, so I've made, I have made examples for this one, so for those of you guys who maybe think this is a little bit, um, possibly pretentious, um, at least you might see some interesting structures, so first off, I've basically replicated the same structure again, except I've added a little bit more depth to it. See, this looks a little bit more natural now. It looks believable. I can imagine seeing this in the game. So what I did, firstly, um, I actually chose the slightly angular shack walls because I just think they look a bit more natural. They are trickier for building upper floors. Um, a little tip, if you're using these walls, use the shack upper floor, so the, the, the double level shack, uh, which I believe is, is this one I'll show you quickly. So it's in here. Use I'm a bit out of wood. So use that one there. Um, I, oddly enough, so you've got to put it back in. Um, but that way, it'll allow you to put these on the outside of buildings, but then still build a second second floor. Um, and then what I've gone and done is because just building that, I did build it on a foundation, but it was a bit dull. Um, so I've added this little decking at the side. So what I did, it's very straightforward. Um, I'll pop that there, and I'll pull this apart a little bit for you. So what I did is I just used a simple shack floor, put it in there, and then I just built this little structure of shack floors here, or up to about, no, it was up to about there, and then I put the foundations down, and then I surrounded it with railings. It's really straightforward to it, it didn't take very long at all, maybe a little bit more wood, but it just adds a little bit more character with very little effort on your end. Um, now a quick note as well on a big thing that I see people doing. So if I go back to this shack over here, one of the reasons why it looks so just unappealing and a little bit almost weird is because it's using the exact same shack wall now obviously so is that one but then I've added character to the other side so you don't really notice the fact that it's re repeating the same uh, piece of um, the same piece of walling over and over again you may also know as well with the railings I haven't used the same one over and over again I did get quite a few messages about this actually because uh, people didn't really get you know, for example, what a lot of people would do, and I'm going to show you, is they would do this. So they would put loads of these ones together, or whatever style of railing they wanted, and, you know, said, oh, yeah, but it looks tidier. It does look tidier, but if I have that going around there like this, if I have enough wood, I might not. There we go, I've got 46, it's fine. If I just start moving these off, technically it looks more uniform, but... You wouldn't see Bethesda doing this, and you wouldn't see any natural structure doing this. Okay, possibly if I had different versions of this exact same railing, it would be fine. But you're effectively copy-pasting, you know, it's, it's, it's kind of like an old game where you see the same texture. Look, I've got the exact same texture for the wall. I see a lot of people doing that. They, they, they just build a structure. Like, look, it looks weird, doesn't it? Suddenly all the character's gone, and it just doesn't please the eye. This is an odd episode, I know, because it... I'm trying to kind of explain a theory here. Um, the idea being is, and I've got a, another structure to the left when I show you, which kind of demonstrates quite a lot of different theories involving mixing different materials together to make it more believable. So, for example, just let me show you something up here. So, Bethesda has got one of these little structures over here. It's really crap, it's just a little shack, but you may notice, obviously they have more resources than us to actually, you know, that they basically build them into the base game. However, they haven't repeated. The only rep I did check. The only repetition they've got here is this is the exact same structure as that wall there. However, what they've done is they position it differently. So unless you were like me, where you are actually checking the boards, you don't really notice. And it just looks more real. Um, so I wanted to show you. 
I did put something together. I said, I know my videos are quite tutorial heavy. I'm deliberately not looking over there. <laughs> um, they're quite tutorial heavy. So I do want to demonstrate. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you something I put together that actually uses various different visual styles to make it seem like a more realistic structure. So over here, you might remember. I'm um, look down, look down, look down. Um, do you remember the trailer, the launch trailer, where they did a little montage of all of the, just at the end, you know, where it had the music playing, and you could see a few of the montage, and you saw which was on a beach, and basically, I, I kind of tried to rebuild that. Um, I'm quite pleased with the end result. Um, I'll go through exactly what I did, but as you can see, there's no, rep the only repetition, there are a few things I don't like. It does have the same shack doors, um, cause I didn't want to use the, uh, kind of, the traditional... I guess kind of cold as Zack house kind of doors and I don't like the lighting but other than that I'm quite pleased with the end result it looks believable and also I've made sure I really tried to stretch it as far as possible in terms of mixing as many different colors and textures so it just there was there was nothing you look at this and think I've just copy pasted texture and um, walls around so let me go through exactly what I did um, so my idea for this was um, I like to be a bit more looser when I build structures, so I have a kind of basic premise and then I let it flow organically, but the two things that I keep in mind is it has to be structurally believable and also it can't abuse repetition. Now there are always exceptions to the rule, but on a smaller scale, so this is why I built the generator instead of I normally build a windmill. The generator here does in fact repeat that exact same railing there, however it's on a smaller scale. Because it's on a smaller scale, you don't look at that and think, oh, he's repeated the same railing. That actually just looks like one item. It looks like I've just picked it up and placed it out of the crafting menu. Um, and again, as well, the reason why I put the generator on the platform, because it's just a little bit more natural and believable for it to be raised up like this. And it's just more aesthetically appealing than simply just, you know, if I just took that off and just slapped a, a large generator down. Um, there's no furniture in these houses, by the way. It is just barren that's not really the point of this video at all but as you can see what I did was I began with as I said my basic idea was to begin with this little tubular structure said so now you might remembering it from the trailer now it's the one where I believe it's at Nordhagen Beach and it was quite a little little structure and I wanted to recreate it I might make this bigger or make a bigger version later on but then I began with a tubular structure and I kind of started to just experiment I knew I wanted something that looked like it was on the top um, I'm going to pull this apart a little bit, by the way, so don't cringe. Don't worry, I will reload. Um, so I started inside, so I built that. That was very fiddly. Let me begin exactly, right from the start. So I began with placing the shack foundations. The reason why I placed them is, again, believability. Um, I wanted, I, I could have just, you know, slapped these shack roofs down. Maybe put a few of them, even, I could have just put normal flat boards there. I wanted to make sure that every part of the structure, to as much, as far as my ability could take it to make it realistic and look like had this game had no crafting function function whatsoever I could walk into this and go okay that looks like Bethesda made it so after I did that I made the tubular stroke they are very fiddly by the way um, but it was quite straightforward really I just traced it around I kind of experimented um, made it too large because I knew okay I wanted the kind of middle bit of the house in there so you can see it's pretty straightforward. This was a little bit fiddly to put in. So I built that first. Then after that, and again, this will be, this is an odd one I know. Now obviously the inside's very dull, I haven't decorated it. So at the start, it basically didn't really look very interesting. I had an idea in mind. Um, it almost looked kind of similar to that one or that one. And I just started building around it. So for example let's start with the stairs i knew that i wanted to add a staircase in if you guys have seen my castle video and probably were maybe a little more observant among you might have seen this in sanctuary as well is when building a staircase is important for example i could just have just done this and it would just looked you know it, it's functional you, know, you see you, you've all seen those videos of people with floating islands you know they can be grand they can be huge at the same time they're not believable we are a little bit stifled with the tools that Bethesda have given us to actually build lots of supports. So that's a big thing that I don't like. Um, I would love some angled support. So say, for example, if I had only one block coming, one shack floor coming out, something at an angle that I could attach to that roof, or even just some big poles that I could just, like, maybe if I just had that pole there. So what I do is, and this is, again, I'm 
just kind of trying to kind of get across what I mean when I say is these are kind of theories you want to keep in mind when placing your structures because a lot of people love my sanctuary video and I obviously showed you how to clip the ceilings in how to you know use the make the fences have no gaps in but to be honest the reason why it looks good is because I ke kept these simple basic functions in mind so let's quickly pop upstairs so for example this is completely organic I just kind of tested this as I went along so how I achieved this little walkway and again I didn't need to have this there's no function to it it just adds a little bit more extra character to the structure so I thought okay and when I place that when I just I'll tell you when I decided I got up to about here made this and thought wouldn't it be cool if something overhang the side a little bit because again I could leave it out but again the building would lose a little bit more of its believability so I've done this kind of technique before so I wanted my front door, and I thought, okay, I'll make a back door. After I placed the back door, because I knew it would be a little bit raised above the actual metal structure underneath, I just placed down a shack floor and traced it around. Oopsie. Let's close that. And then I just traced it around, basically. So I just built these backwards. I also may notice as well, I'm alternating the shack floors as well. Sometimes that's not... For example, I even don't use them so they're facing the same direction that's an as that kind of personal aesthetic choice but again it's the idea being that I don't want I wouldn't want to walk over this structure look at the ground and just see oh that's that's the exact same floor copy pasted and it the great thing is with the rather scrappy style of all these buildings it means that it doesn't look out of place for me to sho shove a load of floors down um, and then obviously with the railings as well, it's the same kind of function, so I've made sure that no two railings are the same next to each other, so it looks like, you know, it, it looks like I've just, because I'm on Spectacle Island right now, it looks like I've just ripped up a load of wood, a load of scrap metal, and just shoved it into whatever, st whatever structure I can think of. Um, and then also, I've been a bit wasteful with resources, because I wanted something to look nice. For example, I don't need this many py power pylons. Um, I did get a few messages of people, you know, actual direct messages saying, you're, you know, you're wasting, you don't need that many pylons, you don't need any wires. I don't need that many wires. But at the same time, if you're going to make something that's believable and nice, you're going to have to spend a bit more time and a bit more in-game resources to recreate that effect. Um, this took hundreds of wood and steel. It was a little bit depressing, I'm not going to lie. So, then beyond that... There are obviously quirks you can always add. I just did an example. For example, I've got a cooking pot. I'm probably never going to use this cooking pot. I might put other cooking pots outside the houses. It's just, it gives it a bit more lived-in effect. You know, I, I see a lot of people who build structures and they just put all of their crafting structures, um, crafting stations in the same area. And that's grand. Uh, obviously, I do have an area which is my crafting area. But in Sanctuary, I have loads of houses that just have workbenches outside them, or cooking pots, or chemical stations. Just because those buildings, had they be were made by Bethesda, or be in real life for whatever reason, would potentially have those outside it. And it just gives you a little bit more, again, believability with the structures. I also added a flamingo, because of course there would be a flamingo outside so I hope this helps um, I hope I've kind of put across what I'm trying to present here the idea being that when you're building these structures build just build something basic build something really simple first I, that's how I practiced you know that structure there is basically that structure there obviously now it's ruined a little bit with the fences but then I just experimented with on organic development you know I have generally just have a vague idea of what I want to achieve and then I experiment so keep that in mind I, I, I this might be an odd video you might not understand what I mean if this is either on YouTube or on reddit or you can follow my Twitter if you want I've linked that to my YouTube account if you want to tweet me any questions to kind of clarify a few things um, also I hope you like this I am quite pleased by this I'm gonna make a massive one I think this is spectacle island and I am slowly building it up um, but it's gonna take some time so yeah, I hope you maybe find that helpful um, and give you kind of an insight into how I go about building the settlements and structures that I do. Um, but let's leave it there, guys. That I don't know how long this will be, but yes, um, let me know if you have any queries. Take care.